right, uh, we're back at it. Look what I got. New ball joint. There's the dust thingy, the dust boot. Um, yeah, I already put one in. So I got the inner outer tie rod already on, but I gotta take that off and put that uh, dust cover thing back over the shaft. But yeah, it's coming together. <laughs> Do a quick video here and installing this like there isn't already 50,000 other videos of installing a ball joint out there, but this is my process and I'm sticking to it because um, it works. So, you remove your uh, dust cover off the ball joint, also, remove the grease zerk so you're not bang bending it or anything like that. So so the ball joint goes from the bottom up, just like that. Make sure your hole is nice and clean. Um, you can throw some uh, like motor oil in there, or WD-40 or whatever. Um, just to help it along. Anyway, so you put that in there. Then the way I do it is put that there. This end, yep. Then this little cap on the bottom, there's a little lip in there. That in there. And um, then you put your clamp over it, your C clamp. Then go at it with uh, either impact or a uh, just old school ratchet like this or a breaker bar or whatever. Um, so here we go. Alright boys and girls, here we go. Um, I like to use brake fluid. Ooh. Also, I'm going to take this little thing off here. Set that aside, then uh, break clean, uh, break uh, fluid, motor oil, WD, whatever you got, some, some lubricant, Let's grease that up a little bit, and get your glove back on. Settled in there. We may need to go up a little bit more. Yeah, kind of play with the direction of the C clamp thing here. Because you want that thing going in flush. You don't want it all kitty wampus and snug it up before you start ratcheting. Get on there, you may need to jack it up a little bit more. Jack is losing pressure. I think it's time for a new change of uh, seals or something. So, go at it like that. Start it out like that, and then you get to you know, like a little bar or something. Is 
little cheater bar. And you can tell when it's bottomed out. Just want to make sure it's in there. So you put more grease in there when you got the shit all put back together. Um, then you just throw your little rubber seal on it. Uh, there you go. And you put your hub and all that crap back on later on when you get your coil spring, your brake line taken care of, and all that good coochie monts. All right, so that's, that's what's going on today. Um, like I said, I gotta take this off, put the boot back on, and uh, wait for more parts this week. All right, thanks for watching. See you, bye.